Turning abroad, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin are holding official talks in Moscow this morning in a meeting that's being scrutinized by the United States. Both men held informal discussions lasting four and a half hours yesterday with the war in Ukraine high on the agenda. NBC News Ford correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer joins us now from Beijing to discuss this. Good to see you, Janice. So the leaders hailed relations between Russia and China and even praised one another. Walk us through the encounter and what's expected today. Well, these men have met more than 40 times. They uh, last year proclaimed a partnership with no limits, and we've seen the ties between China and Russia deepen uh, with the war in Ukraine because of Russia's economic dependence on China. Uh, they boosted trade last year. China has been importing uh, more cheap Russian energy. But the focus of this visit, while it is economic, is also, of course, on the war in Ukraine. And while the two men have framed the visit uh, as a trip for peace, they've actually publicly said very little about the war in Ukraine. Uh, Xi Jinping had put forward a 12-point proposal to try to come up uh, with some sort of ceasefire agreement uh, that uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he would uh, carefully study and treat with respect. But the way the U.S. sees it is that any ceasefire proposal from China is going to be problematic because it will leave Russia's territorial gains largely in place. That's something the U.S. opposes and something Ukraine's government says it won't accept. And Janice, we know the U.S. has also been pushing Xi to speak with Ukraine's President Zelensky. How likely is that and what's been the broader reaction from the White House to this meeting? Well, it's not out of the question. Uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky has said that he's open to having talks with Xi Jinping. Uh, the two countries, Ukraine and China, uh, actually have a very strong economic partnership, and China has a lot of investments in Ukraine. Uh, so there is that possibility, and it could happen even before the end of this week. There's been some speculation that that phone call, which would be their first since the war started, uh, could happen within a matter of days. Uh, it doesn't make the White House any less skeptical of having China cast itself as a potential peace broker. Here's what John Kirby had to say. We are concerned that instead, China will reiterate calls for a ceasefire that leaves Russian forces inside Ukraine's sovereign territory. Now, any ceasefire that does not address the removal of Russian forces from Ukraine would effectively ratify Russia's illegal conquest. Efforts to end this conflict must take Ukraine's position into account. And so we encourage President Xi to play a constructive role by speaking with President Zelensky. What China is looking for in engaging uh, in this potential role is to help prop up its strategic partner uh, in Russia. They are both aligned against the U.S. and the West. Uh, they are looking to deepen that relationship, uh, but it's unlikely that all sides are going to agree with any Chinese proposal uh, that can be seen as meaningful. Important analysis. Janice, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.